أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد أرسلنا رسلنا بالبينات وأنزلنا معهم الكتاب والميزان ليقوم الناس بالقسط صدق الله العظيم نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم Today we shall be beginning with the beginning of the fifth section of Surah Bani Israel. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد صرفنا في هذا القرآن ليذكروا وما يزيدهم إلا نفورا صدق الله العظيم And we have explained our ayat in the Qur'an in various ways, in various styles, in various sequences, so that they get admonition. But they are not getting anything else but aversion. They are running away. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ مَعَهُ آلِهَةٌ كَمَا يَقُولُونَ Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if there had been other gods along with God, Allah, kama yaqulun as they say, idha labtagho ila zillar cha sabila, then they would have tried to find some way to the highest throne. You know, if there is a king, and under the kings there are subordinate chieftains. Now we know it's a rule that some of the chieftain tries to become the king. Why shouldn't he occupy the throne? <coughs> so has there, had there been other gods alongside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there would have been chaos in the universe and someone might have rebelled and, you know, stood in revolt against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu. Glory is his. وَتَعَالَىٰ عَمَّا يَقُولُونَ عُلُوٌ كَبِيرًا And he is much, much exalted, high up than those things which they are saying. تُسَبِّحُ لَهُ السَّمَوَاتُ السَّمَرَ All these seven heavens keep on glorifying him. وَالْأَرْضِ As well as the earth. وَمَنْ فِيهِنَّا And all those things and beings which are in the heaven and the earth. At every time, always, they are glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِمْ مِنْ شَيْنِ اللَّهِ يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ There is nothing in the whole of the universe which is not glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His praise. وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ But you cannot understand their glorification. How they are glorifying, how they are praising You can't understand. إِنَّهُ كَانَ حَلِيمًا غَفُورًا Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forbearing. He doesn't take hasty decisions. He gives time to people to amend their ways, to mend their ways. And He is forgiving. وَإِذَا قَرَاتَ الْقُرْآنَ جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ حِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا And when you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, recite Qur'an unto them, we put between you and them a hidden curtain between you and those who don't believe in the hereafter. In this surah we have seen repeatedly, this idea comes up that the main thing, basic thing is the belief in the hereafter. In the first section also, There was this Qur'an, in هذا القرآن يهدي للتي هي أقوام ويبشر المؤمنين الذين يعملون الصالحات أن لهم أجر كبيرا وأن الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة أعتبنا لهم عذابا أليما. The most basic thing is to believe in the resurrection and to believe in the life of hereafter. 
to those who don't believe when you recite quran and to them we put a curtain invisible hidden curtain between you and them wajalna ala qulubihim akinnatan in addition we put wheels on their hearts ay yafqahu ho which prevents them from understanding what you are reciting to them wa fi azanihim waqra in addition in their ears is heaviness wa iza zakarta rabbaka fil qur'ani wahdahu and when you mention your lord in quran that he is alone without any partners wallahu ala adbarihim nufura they turn their backs and go away with aversion with displeasure nahnu alamu bima yastami'una bihi is yastami'una i like we very well know what they want to listen from you when they come and sit near you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and apparently they listen to you attentively why is hum najwa this they did actually only to impress upon their common people their masses that we are sincere we want to understand what muhammad has to say actually he has nothing to say he has no logic in what he is saying so to impress this upon the common people so they don't go near muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and don't hear to what he is saying why is hum najwa and when they are alone in privacy is yaqulu zalimun when these evil doers say to each other in tattabuna illa rajul al mashura you are following only a person who is bewitched magic has overcome him oh kam muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he is a bewitched person so don't follow him maybe someone you know might have said okay what muhammad said today it appeals to me so then they would say oh no no what has happened to you he is a bewitched person magic has over over come over him so don't follow him unzur kayfa darabu lakal amsal see o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what type of similitudes they strike for you fala yastati'una sabila they will not be able to get to the right path وَقَالُوا إِذَا كُنَّا عِذَابًا وَرُفَاتًا And they say, when the time will come after our death, that will become only bones and fragments. أَيْنَّا لَمَبُوسُونَ خَلْقًا جَدِيدًا Are we going to be raised again in a new creation? This resurrection? How is it possible? Tell them, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, كُنُوا هِجَارَةً You say, you will become dust fragments you become stones aw hadidan aw iron aw khalqan mimma yakbaru fi sudurikum or anything which you think is harder than the stone and the steel and iron also fasa yaqulun may yuiduna then they will say to you who will bring us back from our dead bodies from our graves qul allazi fatarakum awwala marra say the same who created you for the first time <clears throat> allah created you out of nothing out of dust or clay or out of you know a drop of sperm he created you so whosoever could create you from that can't he again recreate you so is it just it is logical that he can do it qul قُلِ الَّذِي فَتَرَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةٍ فَسَيُنْغِذُونَ إِلَيْكَ رُؤُوسَهُمْ And then they will shake their heads before you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And finally the question they will put is, وَيَقُولُنَ مَتَاهُ Okay, then when will it happen? قُلْ عَسَى يَكُونَ قَرِيبَ Say, maybe that it has come very near. But this knowledge of the time of the hour I don't have. It is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When that عَسَى the promised hour will come when there will be resurrection i don't know what i know is that it will happen that asa will come that you will be resurrected and this is the message that i have to convey to you yawma yad'ukum fa tastajibuna bihamdihi when your lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call you you will respond praising him running towards him wa tazunnuna illa bas in labistum illa qalila and you will feel at that time 
that you didn't live in the world or in the graves. But for a very short time, a very short time passed. Just as we can feel, you know. Now if I am 68, I can remember some, you know, incidents when I was five years of age. And it seems it was yesterday. The whole time which has passed appears to be zero. In the same way, they will feel on that day of judgment that they didn't remain in the earth, in this world, or in the graves, but for a very little while. Now, because in the in that you know country or society, this argument was going on. They say this, you say this. They say this, you say this. This is going on. This dialogue may, you may call, this argument you may call, it was continuing for 12 years. This surah was revealed in the 11th year after the beginning of Vai. So it's a long drawn process. And there is conflict. And they wanted to provoke Muslims. Say bad names to them. So that they become violent. If they become violent, then we shall crush them. So this provocation, provocation they tried. But here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving instructions to the Muslim. Don't be provoked. Take all things patiently. Because if you are provoked, if you react, if you give the reply in the same coin, then you know, Satan, Satan, he will be happy. Because then you will call with each other and your mission, you know, it will be in loss. وَقُلِّ عِبَادِي يَقُولُ الَّتِيهِ أَحْسَنْ O oh, Muhammad, tell my bondsmen, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the, the believers, they should say only that thing which is very beautiful. No bad words could come, should come from their tongues. Inna shaitana yanzaku bainahum. Shaitan verily intends to sow the seeds of dissension between you and the people to whom you are conveying the message of Allah. In the shaitana kana lil insani aduwa mubina. Surely, Satan is for the human beings a clear enemy. Rabbukum ala mubikum. Your Lord knows you best. Each one of you is in his knowledge. In yasha yarhamkum. If he wills, he will have mercy upon you and forgive you. How in yasha yarhamkum. Or if he wills, he will chastise you. He will punish you. This authority is in his hands. He can forgive anybody. But whomsoever he wants, he will punish. You know, in the last part of Surah Al-Baqarah, لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ وَإِن تُبْدُوا مَا فِي أَنفُسِكُمْ أَوْ تُفُوهُ يُحَاسِبْكُمْ بِهِ اللَّهِ فَيَغْزِرُ لِمَنْ يَشَاء وَيُعْزِرُ مَنْ يَشَاء He will forgive whomsoever he would like. But he would bring to the book and chastise and punish whomsoever he will like. Rabbukum alam bikum. He knows you best. And what are you are doing, he knows it. In yashayar hakum, if he wishes, if he wills, he will have mercy on you. Or in yasha yuazimkum. Or if he wills and wishes, he will chastise you. Wamar salnaka alayhim wakila. And we have not sent you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a guardian upon them. Your function, your duty is to convey to them. That's all. You are not responsible for them. And your Lord knows best who are in the heavens and in the earth. And we have raised in status some of the prophets over the others. We have it, you know, the beginning of the third part of Quran. تِلْكَ الرُّسُلُ فَنْضَلْنَا بَعْضَهُمْ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ Among these messengers of Allah, among these prophets, some are at a higher level, some are the comparatively at a lower level. فَنْضَلْنَا بَعْضَهُمْ نَبِيِّنَ عَلَىٰ بَعْضٍ Now this also can become a point of argument. The Jews might say that Moses is Afzal, and now you are fighting them. No, Muhammad is Afzal, no use. You should talk about the basic things. There's no use engaging in this dialogue, <coughs> engaging in this, this, in this, the prophets has said. Don't declare me afzal than even Hazrat Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. 
among all the messengers of Allah, he is the only one who committed a mistake, who was punished. He was swallowed by the fish and then, you know, vomited out. You know what happened to him? And he had to apologize to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntum in zalimeen. He is the only one among the, among, among the prophets and messages of Allah. And the prophet said, don't say that I am higher than even Jonah. Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam. But what the Muslims do is absolutely to the contrary. Fadalna badal nabiyyina ala bazim. We have made some of the prophets higher than the others. Fa'atayna Dawood azabura. And we gave Dawood, David, Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, the Psalms. A very beautiful book. Very beautiful book praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this is directed towards those idolaters and idol worshippers and the mushrikeen. Muhammad said to them, call upon those whom you think are gods beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَا يَمْلِكُونَ كَشْفَ الضُّرِّ عَنْكُمْ وَلَا تَحْوِيلَ They have no power or authority to relieve you from any distress or to change your condition. Ulaika Ladina Yadruna, that those whom you are calling upon and you think they are partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe the angels, maybe the saints who have died. But Allah says, Ulaika Ladina Yadruna Yabtahuna ila Rabbihumul Vasila. In that unseen world of the hereafter or Barzakh, they are striving. To whom they are calling, help us. Out of this difficulty, they are striving to get nearer and nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they want to, to become nearer and nearer. وَيَرْجُونَ رَحْمَتَهُ And they hope to have mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَخَافُونَ عَذَابَ At the same time, they keep fearing his chastisement. إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّكَ كَانَ مَحْسُورًا Definitely, the chastisement of your Lord is something to be shunned and feared. وَإِنِّمْ قَرْيَةٍ لَا نَحْنُ مُحْلِكُوهَا قَوْلَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَوْ مُعَزَّبُوهَا عَذَابٌ شَدِيدًا And there is no township or city on the surface of the earth which will reach, we will not destroy before the day of resurrection or to which we will not send a very painful chastisement. كَانَ ذَلِكَ فِي الْكِتَابِ مَسْتُورًا This had already been written in the book, the book of knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا مَنَعَنَا نُرْسِلَ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَنْ كَزَّرَ بِهَا الْأَوَّلُونَ And nothing has prevented us from sending signs, miracles, visible miracles. We have seen, you know, in Surah Al-An'am, that people were demanding, if you say you are a messenger of Allah like Moses, Moses showed so many miracles. So you also show miracles. We shall find it. This is coming just now. A detailed discussion will come on this subject. But Allah says, وَمَا مَنَعَنَا نُرْسَلَ بِالْآيَاتِ Nothing has prevented us from sending these miracles إِلَّا أَنْ كَسَّبَ بِهَلَ وَلُونَ Except this, that those people also who are befair, they belied them. They never believed in them. Did Firaun and his people accepted Moses on the basis of the miracles? Did the nation of Samud accept the call of Salih alayhi salam when according to their demand a pregnant camel, she camel came out of a rock? But you know, even then they didn't come to believe in him. So they, they belied. So we don't want to send now any miracles. وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسَلَ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَن كَذَّبَ بِهَا الْأَوَّلُونَ وَآتَيْنَا سَمُودًا نَاقَتَ مُبْسِرَةً فَذَلَمُوا بِهَا we gave, we gave Samud, that she camel, to open their eyes. But they did, did wrong to, to her. وَمَا نُرْسَلُ الْآيَاتِ إِلَّا بِتَقْدِلَّا تَخْفِيفًا And we don't send our signs but to warn. وَإِسْقُلْنَا لَكَ إِنَّ رَبَّكَ أَحَاتَ مِنْ نَاسِ And recall when we said to you that your Lord has encompassed all human beings. وَمَا جَعَلْنَا رُوِيَ الَّتِي رَيْنَاكَ إِلَّا فِتْنَةً لِلنَّاسِ and also we didn't make the vision that we showed you, but as a test for the humanity. Fitmatal dinnas. 
was shajaratul malunat of the Quran, and that tree which is cursed in Quran, shajaratul zakum, in suratul waqia and somewhere else also, there is the mention of a tree which will grow from the bottom of Jahannam. Now they said, how is it possible? You say there is fire in 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 in, in Jahannam, in in that hell, and you, at the same time you say. A, a tree will be growing from the bottom. But now they don't know that the rules of that world are different. The physical rules governing this, this world and this universe are different. And the rules of that world would be different. So all these things that the subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَنُخَوِّ فَهُمْ فَمَا يَزِيدُهُمْ إِلَّا تُغْيَانًا كَبِيرًا We only want to warm them. But it is not giving them anything except Arrogance. Their arrogance is increasing and increasing and increasing. Why is Kulna Alil Malaika is Yudule Adam of Asa Jadu Illa Iblis? Now note it is the fourth time that this story of Iblis and Adam is coming in Quran. Here it is very brief. Fourth section of Surah Al Baqarah, quite detailed. Then the second section of Surah Al Araf. More detailed, even then, Surah Al-Baqarah. Then we had it in Surah Al-Hijr. And now for the fourth time. And you will find that again in the next Surah Kaf, again you will find it. Here also it is in the beginning of the seventh section of Surah Al-Ban Israel. In Surah Al-Kaf you will find again the beginning of the seventh section of Surah Al-Kaf. That is the story of Iblis and Adam. And recall when we said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ They all prostrated except Iblis. قَالَ أَحْجُزَ لِمَنْ خَلَقْتَ تِينَا He said, shall I prostrate before that one whom you have created out of mud? I was created out of fire. I am better than him. I am higher than him. How can I prostrate before him? قَالَ عَرَائِتَ كَحَذَ الَّذِي كَرَمْ تَعَلَيَا And he said, O Lord, O God, just look, this fellow human being, this Adam, whom you have honored more than me, above me, لَيْنْ أَخَّرْتَنِي لَا يَوْمِ الْقِيَابَةِ If you can keep me alive till the day of judgment, لَا حَتَنِكَنَّ ذُرِّيَتَهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا I shall certainly uproot his progeny, except a few. I will take the whole progeny of Adam astray towards shirk and kufr. I will, I, will, I will prove that Adam is not capable of the position that has been given to him by you. Allah said, okay, go away, be gone. Whosoever from them follows you, then for you all of you, this hell would be the recompense, the reward, and this reward will be befitting for you, for you also, and for all the human beings from the progeny of Adam who follow you. Was tafsis man istataka min hum bisautika, and instigate whomsoever from amongst them you can with your voice. Wa ajlim alehim bi khaylika wa rajilika, and rally over them your horsemen as well as. They are footmen, foot soldiers. Washari kum fil abwale wal aulad. And share with them their properties and their children. Wa'id hum. And make promises to him. Wa ma yaid humu shaitanu illa hurura. But all the promises that shaitan makes, Satan makes with Adam and his progeny is nothing but deceit. In naibadi le salaka alayhim sultan. Allah declared, as for my bondsmen who believe in me, who love me, who worship me, you will have no authority over them. You will not be able to force them to the wrong path. You will have no authority, no power. In Naibadi la salakalahim sultan wa kantafabi rabbi kawakila. And your Lord is sufficient as a guardian of all the believers. Rabbukum ullazi yuzdil fulka. يُسْجِي لَكُمُ الْفُلْكَ فِي الْبَحْرِ لِتَبْتَغُوا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ بِكُمْ رَحِيمًا Your Lord is He who drives for you the ships of the sea so that you can get 
you know, benefits in trading. And you get from his fuzzle, from his bounty. إِنَّهُ كَانَ بِكُمْ رَحِيمًا And he is very much merciful for you. وَإِذَا مَسَّكُمُ الدُّرُّ فِي الْبَحْرِ When some harm and affliction comes over you in the sea, when you are at the sea, open sea, and there's a storm, and you think, my might be that your boat or ship sink, then you call whom? Allah. Nobody else. Even all the mushrikeen, they never call upon their false gods, but they call only Allah. ظَلَّ مَنْ تَدْعُونَ إِلَّا إِيَّا All those deities, false deities whom you call upon, they are lost to you at that time. You never call upon them except Allah. فَلَمَّا نَجَّاكُمِ الْبَرْ And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves you from that affliction and brings you to the land, أَعْرَزْتُمْ Now you turn away your faces. Now you again commit kufr and shirk. وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ كَفُورًا Very, very insan, human beings, they are very ungrateful to Lord. Afa amintum, are you secure? Ayyaksifa bekum janibal bar. Allah can cause a landslide which can swallow you on the land. After landing on the land, you see you are absolutely secure. Nothing can come to you. If a storm could come at the sea, On the land also, there could be a landslide, and it might be, might swallow you all. Or you sila alaykum hasiba, or he can send over you a stone storm. Hasiba used to be a very strong wind, in which small pebbles and stones are coming like bullets. You know these small pebbles and small stones. Which were, which were carried by that strong wind. They work as bullets. So this is hasiba. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He can send hasiba on you. Summa la tadidu lakum wakira. Then you will not find any guardian for you. Am amintum. Do you feel secure? An yuridakum fi hitarat al-nukhra. That Allah might take you again to the sea. Fa yursila alaykum qasifan min al-reeh. And then He can send upon you a hurricane of wind. فَيُغْرِقَكُمْ بِمَا كَوَرْتُمْ And drown you for what you have been doing. ثُمَّ لَا تَجِدُ لَكُمْ عَلَيْنَا بِهِ تَبِيعًا And then you will not be able to find anybody who can take revenge from your side. وَلَقَدْ تَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَ وَحَمَلَّهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرُ And surely we have honored the children of Adam. That is we people, human beings. وَحَمَلَّهُمْ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرُ And we carry them on the land also and on the sea also. Well, who is carrying you in the ships? This is the natural laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with which these ships are floating in the sea. How we walk on this land? This is again the laws of the nature according to which we can walk. So it is as if Allah is carrying us. لَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَا We have honored the children of Adam. وَحَمَ اللَّهُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ And we carry them on the land also and in the sea. وَرَزَقْنَاهُ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ And we have provided them with good things, good food. وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ كَسِيرٍ مِمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَصْدِيلًا And we have exalted them on most of our creations. This human being, you know, Adam was created as a vice-student of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All the angels were asked to prostrate before him. So this is the position of Adam and his progeny. We must know our position in this universe. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this, this status. Then, يَوْمَ نَجْهُ قُلَّهُ نَاسِبْ بِعِبَابِهِمْ Recall the day, the day of judgment. When we shall call every people, every community, With their imam, and imam here has been translated in two forms. Either their leader, maybe the messenger, the messenger of Allah who was sent to that nation, or some other leader, or also the record of their deeds. This, imam, this is also a possible translation of this word. The book in which the deeds are recorded. 
یومنو کل اناس میں امام ہن فمن اوتی کتاب ہو میں یمین ہی سو ہو سو ایور ول بی گیون ہز بک ہز ریکارڈ ہز بیلنس شیٹ ان ہز رائٹ ہینڈ فو لا یقرؤون کتاب ہو دے ول بی ریڈنگ ہیپیلی دیئر بیلنس شیٹ دیئر شیٹ اف دیئر ڈیڈز ولا یظلمون فتیلا اینڈ دے ول ناٹ بی رونگڈ ان دی لیسٹ ومن كان في هذه اعما بٹ ہو سو ایور ہیڈ ریمین بلائنڈ ان دس ورلڈ بلائنڈ ناٹ اف آئز بلائنڈ اف ہارٹ ہی کوڈنٹ سی دی ریئلٹیز ہی کوڈنٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دی وحی اف اللہ دی ریولیشنز ایز کمنگ ٹو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایکچولی ایز اے ہیومن بینگ ہی واز بلائنڈ ہی واز ڈیتھ ہی واز ڈیڈ آئی شوڈ سے سو ہو سو ایور ہیز بین لائک دس ان دس ورلڈ فہو فی الاخرت اعما و اضل سبیلا سو ان دی ہیر افٹر السو ہی ول بی ریسڈ بلائنڈ اینڈ مور فار اوے فرام دی اسٹریٹ پاتھ و ان کا دو ناؤ اٹس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ایشو دیٹ از کمنگ ناؤ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ایشو از بینگ ڈسکس ناؤ دس ہیز ونس بیفور کم ان سورہ یونس الذین قالوا الذین لا یرجون لقانا Those people who don't hope to meet us, they demand from you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ایتے بے قرآن ان غیر حاضہ او بدل ہو. Change this Quran. Or present some other Quran. This is too rigid. Very uncompromising. It doesn't accept anything of ours. Well, we can have a compromise, a deal, but you have to give and take. Something you... You can, you know, present that we accept. And some of our things you have to accept. Not that everything that you say should, should be accepted by us. So now the same thing is coming here. وَإِن كَادُوا لَيَفْتَنُونَ كَانِ الَّذِيَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ لَتَفْتَرِي عَلَيْنَا غَيْرَا And they are bent upon misguiding you and tempting you, instigating you away from that which we have revealed to you. so that you should forge something else and then attribute it to us, which is acceptable to them. The revelation that Allah is sending you, they are not acceptable to them. So they want change, somewhat change. Forge something and say, this has come from Allah, then we shall accept. And then they will make you a friend. You know, there's no enmity between you personally and them. The enmity is between Qur'an and them. What Qur'an is saying is not acceptable to them. So actually, now this is, this is a pressure on you. And because the conditions were very bad, very bad. Eleven years had passed. Muhammad Sallallahu did his best to convey the message of Allah. Only about a hundred plus, 125 people accepted Islam. And you know, the decision had been taken. at the Darul Nadwa, the parliament of Makkah, that now we shall kill Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why he went to Taif. Maybe that some big chief of Taif, he accepts Islam, and then he supports Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so he can shift his base from Makkah to Taif. But there what happened to him in two days, wouldn't happen to him in ten years at Makkah. Stoning! And he was injured. He was bleeding. Names were called to him. And then he had to come back empty-handed. Nobody accepted Islam. And then he could enter Mecca only after taking the refuge of a Mushrik Kafir. He couldn't enter. Because the decision had been taken. He will be killed. Unless some of the chief of Mecca gives him the aman, the peace, the refuge, he couldn't enter. So, Mutim bin Adi, who died as a mushrik and kafir. He never embraced Islam. But the Prophet said on the day of Badr, when there were 70 prisoners of Quraysh in the hands of the Prophet ﷺ, he said, had Mutim bin Adi been alive today, and had he said to me and asked me to let them go without any ransom, I would have let them go. He was so much, you know, under that ihsan, that Mutim bin Adi did to him, that he gave him the aman and gave him the refuge. These are the conditions. So he was very much hard pressed. And in this condition people come, okay, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we can have 
वी कैन हैव ए कंप्रोमाइज वी कैन हैव ए डील यू चेंज योर स्टांस एंड योर पोजिशन ए बेटर सो दैट वी कैन एग्री वाइन इन कार्डूल यून कानून लगी और है ना इले का ले तफ्तरी आलय ना गैरा सो दैट यू फोर्ज समथिंग एंड देन यू एट्रीब्यूट इट टू अस वह इजल तजू का खलीला एंड देन ऑल एलमिटी विल डिसअपियर इवेपोरेट एंड देन दे विल मेक यू ए फ्रेंड बट वह लाउला अन सब्बत ना का हैड वी नॉट हैड वी नॉट मेक यू स्टैंड फर्म इट इज जस्ट पॉसिबल लकद कित तर करो इलेम शैन खलीला You might have leaned towards them a bit due to that pressure. I've, I've, that is why I depicted the whole picture, you know. What were the circumstances? How hard pressed was Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at that time? And now this was the offer. So, as a human being, there could be some, you know, an idea. Okay, let us have some compromise. No, but Allah made you strong and firm. Walaula and sabbat na ka, and were it not we that we had made you stand firm, indeed you would have well I inclined to them a little. But now the hardest ayah of Quran is Allah azak na ka zeful hayat wa zeful mamat. Had this thing happened, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we would have given you double punishment in the day in, in the in this life during the life during this world. And double punishment after the death. Who is being addressed? Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Who is the last messenger of Allah, the beloved of Allah, Khalilullah, Habibullah? For the last eleven years, day and night, he has been working. He has devoted himself wholly and solely for the cause of Allah. But even to him, is Allah zakna ka zayf al hayat wa zayf al mamat? Had this thing supposedly, had this thing happened, had you succumbed to the pressures of these disbelievers and forced something and attributed it to us, then we would have given you double the chastisement, double the punishment of the life, this life, hayat. Of the full mabat and double in the death. So malat ajo lakale na nasira and then you won't not have, you will not find for you anybody who can help you against us. Al abdu abdun wa in taraka wa rabbu rabbun wa in tanazal. Allah is Allah, He is Lord. Although He might come down to the first heaven, as there is a hadith that every night He comes down, and Muhammad is abd, bondsman. Servant, although he might have ascended to the seventh heaven, in you know, you know, in Isra, in Miraj, but the difference between the Creator and the created, the Lord and the bondsman, that remains. Wa in kaadu le ya stafizuna ke min al ard le yukhriju ka minha, and they are bent upon these kufar of Makkah are bent upon to frighten you from this land. So that they turn you away out from this land. Why is Allah le yukhriju ka minha? Why is Allah yal basuna khilafa ka illa qalila? Now here Allah is not denying because this was going to happen by the permission of Allah. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was to migrate to Madina. So he is not saying that it won't happen. What he is saying is Allah yal basuna khilafa ka illa qalila. In that case, they will also not be able to live at Makkah for a long time, and this is the fact. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated in the year 612, and 614 in the Battle of Badr, 70 of the chieftains of Quraysh they were lying dead in the battlefield of Badr. So, and after six years, the whole Makkah that was conquered by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Where were the chieftains now? Where was Abu Jahl? Where was Uqba ibn Abi Mu'ayyid? Where was Abu Lahab? Where was Abu Walid bin Mughira? Where are they? Gone, gone with the wind. Is Allah yal masuna khilafa ka illa qalila? If they compel you to leave Makkah and go away from Makkah. They will also not be able to live there for some long time. Sunnat aman qadar sunnah kabla kamil rasulina. This has been our rule. 
our law, our practice with all the messengers of Allah which were sent before you. وَلَا تَجِدُ لِسُنَّةِ دَا تَحْوِيلًا And you will never find any change in the laws and rules and practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever a messenger was compelled to leave the place, then the chastisement came and the whole nation was destroyed. So this will happen to them if it happens. Now there are instructions to Muhammad sallallahu and to his companions. In these hard times, what should you do? How can you be steadfast? What will give you the energy and strength to bear all these things? Number one, أَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ لِدُلُوكِ الشَّمْسِ إِلَىٰ غَسَقِ اللَّيْلِ وَقُرَانُ الْفَجْرِ إِنَّ قُرَانَ الْفَجْرِ كَانَ مَشْهُودًا Keep this prayer established from the time when the sun declines to the darkness of the night. Now the Salat al-Zuhr, after the sun, you know, it just starts getting down. And now Zuhr, now Asr, now Maghrib and Isha. Four prayers. Bledluki shams ila ghasatil layl. Till the night becomes fully dark. Wa Quran al-Fajr. And take to the recitation of Quran at dawn, Fajr. Now this Salatul Fajr is not called Salat, recitation of Quran. Why? Because in the Salat of Fajr, there is the practice that much of Quran must be recited. In the other prayers, you can have a few ayat in one rakat, but in Fajr, sizable portion of Quran has to be recited. Quran al-Fajr, recitation of Quran at the time of dawn. In the Quran al Fajr Kana Mashuda, verily, the recitation of Quran at the time of dawn, it is witnessed by the angels. So this was instruction number one. Instruction number two, especially for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He was the leader. He was the chief. So he had to have more than the common Muslims. He had to persevere more. He had to put in more struggle, more time. وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَحَجَّدْ بِهِ نَافِلَةً لَكَ And from the time of night, you keep awake with this Qur'an, reading this Qur'an. And this is additional worship for you. It is prescribed. This tahajjud for Muhammad was farz, imperatively. It was an additional farz for him. For the whole of the ummah it is nafil, it is additional. You may pray, you may not pray. If you are not praying, you are not committing any sin. But for Muhammad sallallahu it was essential. It was imperative. It was ordained. It was commanded to him. Na It is additional for you. Asa yab asaka rabbu ka maqam mahmuda. There is hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your Lord, will give you that, that station, praiseworthy station, maqam mahmud. In the hereafter, what is that station? We can't understand. But there is some station, a special station, Maqam and Mahmood, which will be allotted to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Number three. وَقُرْ رَبِّ أَدْخِلْنِي مُدْخَلَ صِدْقِمْ وَأَخْرِجْنِي مُخْرَدَ صِدْقِمْ وَجْعَلْنِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ سُلْطَانًا نَسِيرًا And pray to your Lord, O my Lord, let me have an entry of truth, that is, into Medina. Now this ayah is actually... It is coming, events cast their shadows before. So Hijrah, Muhammad was going to go to, to Medina. He, he, he was going to make this Hijrah. But before that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching him a prayer. وَقُلْ رَبِّ أَدْخِلْنِي مُدْخَلَ صِدْقِينَ When I enter Medina, it, be a, it should be an entrance of truthfulness. وَأَخْرِجْنِي مُخْرَجَ صِدْقِينَ and you take me out from this Bakka, this city of Bakka, with truth. Wajalli min ladunka sultan and nasira, and then grant me from your special stores of authority. Grant me authority in this world which should help my mission. This was the prayer which was taught to him. And we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he taught this prayer, actually he had accepted the prayer already. It was decided by him 
that when Muhammad enters Medina, he will be entering like a king. People at Makkah were, you know, bent upon killing him. And Makkah had only 300 miles, less than 300 miles north of Makkah. The other city is Medina. Yes, it used to be called. And there the people are, you know, waiting for him to come, to say him the welcome. قَتَّلَا الْبَدْرُ عَلَيْنَا مِنْ سَنِّيَاتِ الْوَدَعِي قَدْ وَجَبَ الشُّكْرُ عَلَيْنَا مَا دَعَا لِلَّهِ دَعِي Small girls, they were singing this song when Muhammad Sallallahu was entering Medina. So what a contrast. But this happened. And Muhammad entered there as a ruler. Immediately, both the big tribes, the Oth and Khazraj accepted him. And so he became the ruler of Medina. وَقُرْ رَبِّ أَدْخِلْ لِي مُدْخَلَ صِدْقٍ وَأَخْرِجْ لِي مُخْرَجَ صِدْقٍ وَجْعَلْ لِي مِنْ لَدُنْكَ سُلْطَانًا نَسِيرًا وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقَّ وَزَحَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا And proclaim, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, truth has come and falsehood has vanished, although it has not happened up till now, but it was sure to happen only in eight years. What is eight years in the nation's history? Within eight years, Muhammad came back with 10,000 of his companions and entered Bakka victoriously. So, what would happen on that day? It is proclaimed here. Tell them, proclaim, Say that truth has come and falsehood has vanished. And verily, the falsehood is ever certain to vanish. وَنُنَزَّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And we are sending down from Qur'an these ayat, which are remedy, healing for all the diseases of the chest and heart, haughtiness, love of wealth, love of power and authority. These are the things, these are the diseases. For that Qur'an is shifa. وَنُنَزَّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ And a mercy for the believers. وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا But it doesn't increase the evildoers. But for them, there is loss because they are not going to accept Qur'an. وَإِذَا عَنَمْنَا عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ عَرَضَ وَنَعَابِ جَانِبِهِ And when we bestow our blessings on a human being, then you know he becomes arrogant. Now he is not listening to us. He has ample to food, everything to eat, everything he has of necessity. Now why should he call us? Why should he pray to us? But when, on the other hand, when some affliction comes on him, now he becomes absolutely disappointed and totally despaired. These are the extremes of human beings. Usually the human beings, you know, they oscillate between these two extremes. قُلْ كُلُّ يَعْمَلُوا عَلَىٰ شَاكِلَتِهِ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all are working according to the personality structure that they have. What is shakila? Pattern, you know, shakila, pattern. And this pattern for every human being is fixed by two things. Hereditary factors which he has had through the genes of his parents, father, mother, grandfather, grandmother, and so on and so forth. The genes, they give a pattern to his structure, to his, his, his personality. And number two, the environment in which he has lived, the country, the society. What's the structure of the society? What are the values? What people think? All, and what education he got? These two things combined together make a shakila of a person. His personality structure is there. Now is with this personality structure, either he turns his head towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and face, and he strives for good, or for bad. The free choice remains there, but he cannot outgrow his skin. He will remain limited to the shakila. The shakila will remain with him. But he can pursue good through this shakila. And he can pursue evil also through this shakla. قُلْ كُلُّ يَعْمَلُوا عَلَىٰ شَاكِلَتِهِ فَرَبُّكُمْ عَالَمُ بِمَنْ هُوَ أَحْدَى سَبِيلًا Your Lord knows best who is more guided to the right path. 
وہ یس الونا کان روح اینڈ دے آسک یو محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اباؤٹ دی اسپرٹ کول روح بن امر ربی ٹیل دیم دس روح دی اسپرٹ ہیومن اسپرٹ اٹ از فرام دی کمانڈ اف مائی لارڈ وما اوتیتو من العلم الا قلیلا اینڈ یو ہیو ناٹ بین گیون فرام دی نالج بٹ ویری لمیٹڈ اماؤنٹ دیز تھنگز یو کانٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دیز تھنگز بلونگ ٹو عالم امر You can understand alam e khalq, this material world. You can learn, you can understand, you can use, you can discover the laws governing this physical world, material world. Then you can exploit different form of energies which are available here. But that alam e amr, you know, where there are angels, human spirits, all these things, you know, you are beyond your perception. You can't perceive, you can't conceive. وَلَا إِنْ شَيْنَا لَنَذْحَبَنَّا بِالَّذِي اَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ سُمَّ لَا تَجِدُ لَكَ بِهِ عَلَيْنَا وَكِيلًا O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Had we wished so, had we willed so, we could take away from you that which we have sent down to you in revelations. This Qur'an we have sent. And we have collected it in your chest, in your heart, in your brain. But this is our authority. If we want, we can take it back. Summa la tajidu laka bihi alayna wa keela. Then you will not be able to find for you any guide against us that he can, he can, you know, force us to give it back to you. Our authority is final. Illa rahmatam in rabbik. But this cannot happen due to the mercy of your Lord. Inna fazlahu kana alayka kabira. Because his bounty over you is very great. And the biggest, you know, manifestation of that bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on you is this Qur'an. قُلْ نَعِنِ اِجْتَمَعَاتِ الْإِنسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ آيَاتُ وَمِسْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لَا آيَاتُ نَبِي مِسْلِهِ Tell them, and this is the challenge, if all the human beings and all the jinns gather together and strive to compile a book like this Qur'an, they won't be able to do it. قُلْ لَيْنِ اجْتَمَعْتِ الْجِنْسُ وَالْجِنُ All human beings, all jinn, jinnat, they gather together on this to produce a book like Qur'an. لَا يَاتُونَ بِمِسْلِهِ They will not be able to produce a book like this. وَلَوْ كَانَ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ زَهِيرًا Although they might be helping each other. وَلَقَدْ صَرَّفْنَا لِلنَّاسِ فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَسَلْ The same tasweef with which we began today. And we have, in various forms, various styles, we have explained, explained our ayat in this Qur'an. فَعَبَا أَكْسَلُ النَّاسِ إِلَّا كُفُورَ But most of the people, they don't accept it. They are rejecting. And only their aversion is on the increase. وَقَالُوا لَنْ نُمِنْ Now here comes, you know, the demands that they were making from Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Show us this miracle and then we shall believe in you that you are the Prophet of Allah. What were the demands? وَقَالُوا لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى تَفْجُرَ لَنَا مِنَ الْأَرْضَ يَنْبُوعَ And they said, we are not going to believe in you, we are not going to accept you as the Messenger of Allah, unless you cause a spring to gush forth from the earth for us. In this city of Mecca, there should be a spring, you know, and it should gush from the, from the earth, and then we can, we can accept you as a Messenger. أَوْ تَكُونَ أَوْ اَوْ تَكُونَ لَكَ جَنَّةٌ مِنْ نَخِيلٍ وَعِنَبٍ Or suddenly a garden of date palms and of grapes should be there in Makkah for you. فَتُفَجَّرُ الْأَنْهَارَ خِدَالَهَا تَفْجِيرًا And in that garden there should be rivulets and springs flowing. If you can produce it, okay, then we shall accept that you are the messenger of Allah. اَوْ تُسْقِطُ السَّمَاءَ كَمَا زَامْتَ عَلَيْنَا or you make the heaven fall on us in pieces, as you think that it will happen on the Day of Judgment, on the Qiyamah. Now, do it. وَتَعْتِيَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةِ قَبِيلًا Or you bring Allah and His angels before us, face to face. Then we shall believe, yes, you are the messenger of Allah. اَوْ يَكُونَ لَكَ بَيْتُ مِنْ دُخْرُفٍ And though God, there should be a palace for you here in Mecca, of gold, دُخْرُفٍ اَوْتَرْتَافِ السَّمَاءَ Or you ascend to the heaven before our own eyes. 
We should see that you are ascending to the heaven. And even your ascension to the heaven, we are not going to accept. Unless you bring down with you over us, on us a book which we can read ourselves. Well, in reply to all these demands, what was the reply from Allah? Well, say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Subhana Rabbi, glorified is my Lord. He can do anything. But when have I claimed that I am God, I can do this. My claim is that I am a human being. Hal kunto illa bashar al rasula. My claim, you should demand proof from me according to the claim that I am presenting before you. I never, I never claim that I am God. I never claim that I have all this authority. I never claim that this whole universe is under me. No, nothing of the sort. I am a human being like you. Only the thing is that Allah has chosen me and He has sent revelation to me and He has appointed me a messenger to you. وَمَا مَنَا النَّاسَ يُو مِنُوا إِجْجَاهُمُ الْهُدَى and there is nothing which has prevented these people to believe when this guidance has come to them. Illa an qalu abas Allahu bashar al rasula. Except this thing that they say, has Allah sent a man, a human, a mortal as a messenger? If Allah wanted to send, He could send an angel. How come a mortal human being, and He has been sent as a as, as, an, as a messenger? قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَلَائِكَةٌ يَمْشُونَ مُطْمَئِنِّينَ لَنَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْهِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَلَكَ الرَّسُولَ Say to them, if there had been angels walking on this earth with contentment, then we would have sent an angel for them as a messenger. We have sent Muhammad as messenger to you. You are human beings. For you there should be a human person, a human being. But had there been angels here, we would have sent an angel. So actually, it is the reply. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَلَائِكَةٌ يَمْشُونَ مُطْمَئِنِّينَ لَنَزَّلْنَا عَلَيْهِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَلَكَ الرَّسُولَ قُلْ كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِدًا بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكُمْ Say, Allah is sufficient as a witness between you and me. إِنَّهُ كَانَ بِعِبَادِهِ خَبِيرًا بَصِيرًا Verily, He about His bondsman, He is aware of everything. And he is seeing everything. وَمَنْ يَهْدِ اللَّهُ فَوَا الْمُحْتَدْ Whomsoever Allah guides to the right path, well, he is the guided one. وَمَنْ يُغْلِلْ And whom Allah sends astray, فَلَنْ تَجَدَ لَهُمْ أَوْلِيَا مِنْ دُونِهِ For them you will not find any helpers except Allah. They can't now bring them to the right path. وَنَحْشُرُهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ عَلَىٰ وَجُوهِهِمْ And we shall gather them on the day of the judgment. Prone on their faces. Umyan wa bukmam wa summa. They will be blind and dumb and deaf. Ma wahum jahannam. Their abode will be jahannam. Kullama khabat ziddahum sa'ira. When the fire of the hell. Whenever it will abate, we shall increase it in the flame and severity. Zalika jazahum jahannam. Jazahum be annam kafaru. And this is the reward for them because they did kufr. They rejected the call of Muhammad. Kafaru bi ayatina. They rejected our ayat. Wa qalu wa iza kunna izamam wa rufata. And they said the same thing repeatedly. When we become bones and pieces, aina la mabousuna khalqan jadira. Are we going to be created again in a new creation? Avalam yarao. Don't they see? Anna Allah al-lazhi khalaq as-samawati wal-lardha qadirun ala yakhluqa mislahum. That Allah, who has created all the heavens and the earth, He is not able to create the like of them. He created you. Can't He create it you again? How come? What's the reason? And Allah has fixed for them a time. Ajal, a fixed time. There is no doubt about that. But these evil doers, they refuse, accept ungratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلْ لَوْ أَنْتُمْ تَمْلِكُونَ خَزَائِنَ رَحْمَةِ رَبِّي إِذَا لَمْ سَكْتُمْ خَشْيَةَ الْإِنفَاقِ وَكَارَ الْإِنسَانُ قَطُورًا Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O people, had you possessed 
the prayers of mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You would, have, you would have certainly withheld all the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fearing expending. Maybe it is finished. Because Taral insanu katura. Insan is, human beings are miserly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has spread his mercy to all the creatures. And he is not fearing that his store of mercy will come to an end. بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بالآيات وذلك الحكيم الله أكبر الله أكبر The Islamic Organization of North America, Iona, is an organization dedicated to reviving the Quran into the hearts of Muslims while bringing its message to non-Muslims. The obligations of a Muslim as ordained by the Quran and Sunnah can be understood as having four levels. 1. A Muslim is required to develop real faith and conviction, Iman, in one's heart. 2. A Muslim is required to live a life of complete submission to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 3. A Muslim is required to propagate and disseminate the message of Islam to humanity as a whole. 4. A Muslim is required to try his utmost in establishing the just Islamic order. The first and foremost objective of establishing Iona is to assist the Muslims in North America to uphold and implement these obligations first on themselves, their families, inform their friends, and then to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. The ultimate goal is to seek Allah's pleasure and salvation in the hereafter. For more information about Iona, please visit us at www.tanzim.us. You may also email us at info at t-a-n-z-e-e-m dot u-s or call our toll-free number 866-779-IONA. Join us. Together we can make a difference.